the most frequent question we're getting lately is, where are the ticks? Well, the footage on this channel isn't scripted. We just record whatever happens in front of our cameras. So, to make a tick video, we need four things to happen. First of all, we need a host. Usually, redneck wallabies, but sometimes whipped tail wallabies or swamp wallabies. Then we need a tick remover, such as a Taurasian crow or an Australian raven. And let's not get into a pointless debate about which is which, unless you happen to be an ornithologist specialising in corvids. Thirdly, we need an explosion in the tick population. Australia has over 70 species of ticks. However, the main tick species in our area is the kangaroo tick, which grows to a size of two and a half centimetres or an inch long, making them quite a spectacular target for the crows. Finally, we need the wallabies, crows and ticks all together in front of the camera to capture the action. This happened a lot last year. So what's missing this year? Well, everything. Last summer arrived early, hot and dry. Abnormal numbers of tick larvae survived the winter and emerged as adults very early. 2019 and early 2020 saw a savage drought across all of Eastern Australia and huge numbers of wildlife were drawn to water troughs just to survive. This summer, however, has been later, colder and kinder. There has been decent rainfall and fresh water for wildlife to drink. And plentiful food sources to eat. So the wildlife has dispersed over a wide area and doesn't really need to visit our water troughs. This is great news for the property and great news for wildlife. But what does this mean for the channel? Well, it means that we continue to put up snippets of wildlife that we capture. And if you subscribe to the channel just for the tick videos, well, I guess we'll see you next summer. Thank you for your support and encouragement. You are appreciated.